Another big story tonight comes from Niagara Falls, where FBI agents have been crawling all over City Hall. Also developing right now, fireworks fly at the City Council meeting. Firefighters Union protesting. And it was on to Niagara Falls City Hall, where more computers and documents were taken. After years of lawsuits and scandals and bickering in City Hall, Mayor Paul Deister took office and immediately started working to rebuild trust in City Hall. Twelve years of calm, stable, mature leadership. No scandals, record investments in streets, parks, and public safety. The first major private sector development in a generation. Mayor Paul Deister was the first to be elected to a second term in decades. I felt like he was not in it for himself, that he was not going to be subject to anything tawdry, that he wasn't going to be subject to any sort of um, feathering of his own nest, and those things were very important to me. This is a mayor who treats people with respect. Under Mayor Deister's leadership, the city has jumped and done some amazing things, and that is because of his partnership and willingness to sit at the table and work with others. There's not been one time that I've made a phone call to him and asked him to come and partner with us or do something with us, even at larger levels, and he said no. Whether it was walking the streets with the pastors, police, and politicians, whether it was coming to community meetings, whether it was showing up at an event, whether it was coming to a service just to pray for the city, he was the first call and always the first one. Niagara Falls Mayor Paul Deister first pledged allegiance to the country. Not the Confederate flag, not the Nazi flag, the stars and stripes of the United States of America. Niagara Falls will continue to be a beacon for inclusion, tolerance, and respect for all. I now pronounce you legally married. We've got responsibilities to everyone who works hard for the city of Niagara Falls and all our city employees work hard, but there's something different about the public safety services. Each of these young men and women that puts on the uniform for the city of Niagara Falls, they could lose their life the very first day on the job. And so we, from the very first day of their service, have a very, very special responsibility uh, to them. Mayor Paul Deister gave Sean a key to the city and issued a proclamation of bravery for his fight against cancer. This is a mayor who will run an efficient, honest government. The facts show that the Deister administration has managed tax dollars responsibly. This is a mayor who has channeled his reputation and relationships into a brighter day for Niagara Falls. He was wonderful at building relationships because the most important thing that we had to do was to rebuild our reputation on a, not only a local level, but on a state and federal level. And he was able to build those relationships and therefore get us the support and help that we needed to be able to rebuild. We've got strong support from Albany, from our governor, Andrew Cuomo, like we've never had before. This is a mayor who has endured constant scrutiny and criticism and has held his head high instead of holding grudges. You know, Mayor Deister brings this uh, level of one excitement, uh, inclusiveness, and passion. And uh, having someone that has loved the city as much as Mayor Deister has and has much passion for the city is going to be absolutely missed. Uh, 12 years. And what a 12 years it's been. When we look back on this time, we'll remember a leader who put the city's interests first, who lifted people up instead of tearing them down, who tried to restore our faith that government can work for us and that public service can be an honorable pursuit. That's the Deister legacy.